Hey guys, just working on this old Toro lawnmower here and I saw an opportunity to make a quick video. Just wanted to show you guys how the auto choke works on these Briggs & Stratton L head engines. So if you know these engines over the years they've kind of changed from uh, a throttle lever choke. So they used to have a throttle lever and you would push the lever all the way to the very bottom and it would turn on the choke which activated uh, choke circuit then they went to a primer probably most of you have the primer on the front right there but as you can see this one doesn't have the primer on it this one's got what's called auto choke and uh, it works most of the time pretty good when it's when it's in good shape and it's clean and it's you know it's set up the way it's supposed to be but sometimes it gets dirty I've had them seize up I've had a few different problems with it so I'm just going to show you really quick how it works um, so what happens when you uh, pull this lawnmower out of your shed and it's cold is, as you can see, this arm underneath the shroud that I've taken the covers off, this arm is in the position that is closest to the flywheel. So it'll actually go from there to there. There's a spring that pulls it back right there. And what happens is when it is in this position, it actually closes the choke so the front of the carburetor there's a um there's a barrel and a butterfly the little butterfly valve and it's actually closed right now and what happens when you start the engine is this fan that you can see actually blows this plastic arm forward so the wind hits it right there and it blows it forward and out of the way and what that does guys is see it opens the choke right there so right now the choke is open and right now the choke is closed open closed and so basically every time you turn this machine off this arm returns back to the flywheel closing the choke so it's ready to be started again the next time you want to start the mower now this is all fine and dandy except when this engine's hot guys you generally don't want to choke it to, to start it because it'll be too rich and you'll get uh, you get a flood you get the engine flooded so what they've gone and done is they've actually installed a little thermostat arm right here so behind the muffler there's a like a bimetal pod and when that metal pod heats up from the engine heat it'll actually push this arm you see right here forward like that and so when this engine's hot when this arm is pushed forward it actually pushes the choke lever, this vein, to the open position so the choke is not on right now. And that will keep the machine, when it's hot, from applying the choke automatically and causing it to flood. Once it cools down, this will come back to that position and again, now your choke is on. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I've had a lot of problems over the years with this arm. I've had debris caught inside, which was preventing it from actuating. I've seen them bent. Uh, I've seen the uh, little bimetal pod down at the bottom fail so that it doesn't do its job. And whenever these machines are hot, they, they won't start because they flood because the choke is stuck in the on position. I've also had people mess with this spring had them replace it with a heavier spring that doesn't work or a lighter spring or a stretch spring or, or any kind of other spring they have you got to have the right weighted spring here because it actually it's um that spring is weighted to work best with the air pressure coming off of this flywheel so i just thought you'd like to see that guys kind of a quick tip on a uh, cold night here where i'm at and uh, anyway, hit the subscribe button so I can show you some more stuff like that down the road. We'll be doing a lot of lawnmower repairs come, uh, come springtime out of this place. Thanks for watching.